Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mesh Automation Channel. Today in this session, I'm going to discuss about how we can encrypt and decrypt our password when we use the username and passwords in our automation. We have to encrypt our password so that it will not be misused by other users or other team members. So why we need this encryption and decryption? So when we automate any application, not only a testers, or developers there are other users like uh, managers and product owners and the client side members they will try to access our automation and they wanted to just run and see what is happening in within the application so there might be a chance of misusing our password which has a privileges so we don't want to get or fall into that situation where our password being misused so to control that we have a simple techniques to encrypt and decrypt our password in this session, I will show you how to encrypt and decrypt. So do watch this entire session so that you will apply the same technique in your automation testing. And it will be a one of an interview question for experienced person, how you gonna encrypt and decrypt your password in your automation suit. So this is my Eclipse IDE and I have Mehan project here open. So this is uh, as part of our different sessions, I have created this Maven packages and in that source test java i will create a new class and a package so this package is passwords encryption and i will say encrypt so i'm gonna use this encrypt decrypt as a short form as a class name right so generally uh, when we use username and password our password and username are type of strings right so we're gonna use the same concept here so let's say string password password equal to what password I provide in my automation so generally we use this password as an global uh, everyone uses this kind of passwords in their uh, testing right so i am using the similar to that one i will add some symbols here like uh, oh, like this okay right so this password is exposing to all the users in our uh, team members who is accessing my automation suit so i wanted to control that so to do that uh, i will use the base 64 so base 64 is available within the java package so you can use that and this base 64 has a different or multiple static methods so under that method i'm gonna use the uh, encoder get encoder and this get encoder has some uh, more methods within that so like generally encode so this encode bytes uses it will encode all the bytes which are specified in my byte array so i'm going to create a byte array now uh, let me use this encode now so this will uh, this is an encode and under this encode what i'm going to encode i'm going to encode my password so i will use the password here right and from that password i need to get or convert into a bytes so to do that i will use get bytes right and as i told i need to create a byte array right so i will use some byte here byte array and i will say encrypt encrypt right so now this is a line we need to use to encrypt our password and how we're gonna print this or take this value which are encrypted so i can use a simple uh, sysout here so in the sysout i can say encrypted password is right and i will create a new string or create an object for a string and in that i'm gonna use this encrypt Simply save and quickly run this program. Right, you can see here 
so I have used the password at the rate and some numbers so that entirely converted into a encrypted type which is here so this is an encrypted password right so this is how we encrypt our password and we gonna use this in our automation suit so not the password which is provided in the string in the line number 10 we will not use this but instead we will use the password which is encrypted so this will confuse the users who is trying to see what password we have kept for our automation suit now after encoding we have to decode during our automation or how we gonna decrypt our the password which are encrypted so for that I will use again the same method so I'm gonna use the byte here byte array and in the byte array I will say decrypt so this decrypt will also use the base64 right it's base64 from Java and here instead of get encoder I will use the get decoder right and instead of encode we will use the decode so same thing what we did in line number 12 we have to do exactly opposite to that so that we will decrypt the password which is encrypted so here uh, we will use the password which is uh, in the encrypted we have used the password uh, which is string type so in the decrypt we have to use what is encrypted so this is the encrypt we have to use the same encrypt so this password is already encrypted and we are trying to decrypt so it has already in the type of uh, get bytes so again we don't need to call again get bytes for this encrypted method so we just simply call the encrypt here and in the next line I'm gonna use this out here this out and this is out I will say decrypted password is I'm gonna use the same method or create a new string object so string and I will say this as decrypt So I have done encryption here I have doing a decryption here so let me save and run this program and see the output what it is now you can see we have used the password uh, at the rate 3 4 uh, uh, some number as an uh, encrypted password and it has encrypted this way and we have used the same uh, encrypted password into our decrypt method and it has given the original password so this is how we do encryption and decryption with a simple technique of base64 encoder and if you have any questions queries or errors you can post in my comment section i will help you out and this is the one way of base64 i will show you a couple of more in upcoming sessions so thank you for watching and if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with the colleague thank you for watching